Hello children, today in this video we are going to study chapter 12 that is about learn mapping no directions. Okay, so what is the topic of this lesson? Learn mapping and no directions. Okay, so first let us know the meaning of map. Map is the Diagrammatical representation of the area, land or seashore, or physical features, cities, roads, etc. Okay, children. So, what is meant by map? Map is the diagrammatic representation of the area, land or seashore, physical features, cities, roads, etc. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of direction, children? Direction means it is the theoretical line followed from a point of region or towards a destination. It is called direction. For example, if you want to reach one place, so some people, they will instruct with the direction. Go towards right or go towards left left is yes? so that is called direction so it is the line which will be followed from a point of region towards a destination where you have to reach okay now let's start our lesson basically directions are there are four direction okay basically we have four direction they are north, west, east and south. Okay, so how many directions are there children? Four directions. Basically, there are four directions. What are they? North, west, east and south. Okay, they, these four directions are used by the people to locate any places. Okay. So, here, here in this slide you can see the activity which is given in your reader page number 109. Okay. So, you know now there are four directions. Okay. So, using that four direction you are going to write the direction. Here you can see the picture with the banyan tree in the center of the picture there is a banyan tree you have to write the directions of the given places with reference to the banyan tree so here in your uh, reader page number 110 you can see uh, some places uh, have been given ha is that uh, that places the direction of that places you have to uh, locate with reference to this banyan tree. So banyan tree is in the center. Okay, so you know there are four direction. Based on the direction, you locate the direction. Here I have given example. So first one is pond. Okay, so where is the pond? Here. So pond is in the north direction. Okay, and then library. So, where is library children? Here you can see the library, yes. So, this is in west direction. So, third one is what? School. Where is school children? Here you can see school, yes. Yes, that school uh, is located in the south direction. Okay, school is located in the south direction. Then, Post office. Post office where it is located? It is in the east direction. Okay. Then remaining, remaining uh, things, remaining places you have to write. Okay. So in which di direction? In the same way you only have to write the remaining places. You have to find out the places where they are located and find out the direction and fill up. Okay, children, now we will move to another concept. So, you know, basically, there are five directions, isn't it? What are they? 
north east west and south so not only that there are including this north south east and west direction we are have we are having four more direction so in between north and east there is a direction called north east okay in between east and south there is a direction called south east in between south and west there is a direction called south west and in between west and north there is a direction called north west okay so basically we will classify direction into four but including this direction we have some more direction more some uh, four more directions are there what are they northeast southeast southwest northwest understood children now here you can see the activity so um this uh, consider this is your house okay children so your house is shown in the picture given below and you have to write the things around your house according to the direction so now you have studied eight dire eight direction isn't it using this eight direction you are going to write uh, the places which is surrounding your house okay so you have to write the things around your house according to the direction so in the north direction what is located near to your house in northeast direction what is located near to your house and in east direction what is located southeast direction what is the place located in the south direction what which is the place um which place was there in south direction and which place was there in south west and which place was there in west direction and which place uh, is near to our uh, near to our home in north west direction this all you were you have to locate it okay children now here is one more activity so you know now north south east and west direction isn't it so here we what is this children this is the karnataka map isn't it so karnataka is our state yes so it is the state map okay karnataka state map so here now you are going to locate where the arabian sea is see children listen picture clearly and look at here it is the arabian sea so arabian sea is in west isn't it now maharashtra so where is maharashtra maharashtra yes maharashtra is here so it is in the north direction then where is andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is in here yes it is in the which direction it is in east direction yes then kerala so where is kerala here you can see kerala so kerala is in south direction okay so uh, arabian sea is in west direction maharashtra is in north direction andhra pradesh is in east direction kerala is in south direction okay children understand now let's move to another concept how to draw the map of classroom or your room okay so to draw a simple map you should measure the length and breadth of classroom with your footsteps okay so using our footsteps we have to measure the length and breadth of classroom so two footsteps are equal to 1 meter okay so 1 meter is equal to two footsteps okay and footsteps it will differ from person to person okay so some they will be having small foot is so uh, footsteps will differs from person to person so if you are two footsteps are equal to 1 meter then 12 feet is equal to 6 meter okay 12 feet gives 6 meter 
then 10 feet gives 5 meter that means the length of the room is equal to 6 meter breadth of the room is 5 meter understand children so we can draw simple map using our uh, footsteps okay we can measure the length and breadth of the classroom with the help of our footsteps and two footsteps are equal to one meter okay by using this we can what easily what measure the length and breadth of classroom now here here this is the picture which represent the symbols which you can use to draw the root map okay so this is the symbol for house and this is the symbol which we can use to draw for temple then with this mosque this is the symbol which we can use to represent mosque in our what root map and this is the symbol which we can use to represent church then this is the symbol which is used to represent school okay when we are drawing root map these symbols we can use okay and to represent pond we can use this symbol and to represent post office we can use this symbol then to represent well you can use this symbol and to represent tree you can use this symbol okay so these are some of the symbols which we can use to draw the root map now all the maps which we are drawing it have centimeters or inches as the units of measurement okay so whatever map you are drawing that map should have centimeters or inches as the units of measurement okay and world map is the map of the earth okay so which is the map of the earth world map so world map we can see all the areas all the what are the countries what are the different uh, continents present in the earth everything we can see in the world map so world map is the map of the earth one can easily understand the physical features land route and populated area with the help of map okay so with the help of map we can understand the physical features land routes and populated area of a particular land then longitudes and latitudes imaginary lines help to form the grid on the map so here I have shown the picture which represent the longitude okay so the horizontal lines this horizontal line represent the latitude and the uh, this vertical line represent the longitude okay so latitude and longitude and these imaginary lines will help us to um, help us to form the grid on the map okay and there are different types of map okay there are different types of map so now uh, i have shown here in this picture different types of map okay so this is the example for physical map this is the example for the soil map this is the example for weather map and here it's an example for train route map okay so what are the different types of map children physical map soil map weather map rain, train route okay train route map etc it is believed that the egyptian kings used to draw maps to know the regions of their route and greeks draw the map of the earth in 540 bc so egyptian kings it was, uh, there was a one belief that egyptian kings they used to draw maps to know the regions where they are ruling so uh, to know the regions of their rule they used to draw maps who egyptian kings okay in the ancient time and not only that greeks greek people they draw the map of the earth in 540 bc okay so this is about what map and the direction i hope that you all understood understand about the what mapping and 
uh, you have understand about the different directions. If you have any doubt, you can ask children. Thank you.